News out of Buffalo. Like New York and Erie County have, have announced a $1.4 billion public public slash private deal. I yes. don't know how that works when you're dealing with that many commas and zeros because I don't got that many. But a deal for a new Buffalo Bills stadium on Monday. Which public is, slash private means the owner's like, I'm not paying for all of it. So the, the taxpayers have to foot which is kind of rare anymore. $850 million of this. But my question to you is now Buffalo Bills are going to stay. They got a brand new shiny stadium. My question to you was, Darryl, look at that shouldn't rendering. there been a top on this stadium or no? Wouldn't, I mean, no, no, no. Think You're about everything buff- they could do in there. Well, though. first of all, here's a couple reasons. First of all, just money of it. Okay, the fact that the Pagulas are getting a single dime of public funds is kind of a shocker. I thought those days were long gone, especially when you're you're also seeing because I'm you know I'm from New York State. Yeah. I follow what goes on in my old home state. Back you know, they're, they're already starting to talk about the budgets coming out. You're cutting funds for schools, you know, regular and, yeah. people. And so I understand economic development and trickle down or how it affects the community. And I just didn't know if the bills are really going to leave. But but the long story short is just dollars and cents. The five and a half billion dollar stadium that's just up the road from here that just hosted the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. OK, five and a half billion dollars. Do you know that the canopy over the stadium over SoFi Stadium, it's because it's not a dome. It's yeah. it's it, it the the roof rests on these columns that um, covers the stadium. It's not attached, right? Not completely sealed, right? It's 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 keep airflow correct. going. And- that alone, I was told, cost one and a half billion dollars alone. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Now. Okay, so I can't imagine how much it would cost to put a a lid on that pot. In Western New York. Yeah, I mean, Buffalo. Averages. I can't even imagine. So you're talking about just economically, it, uh, I'm sure it made people's heads explode and it was a non-starter. We're not. But also you're you're talking about Buffalo Bills football. That's not you're not made to play indoors. Yeah, but you play outdoors. You got to get you. You got to look down. You Here's the deal. You got to look at Tyreek Hill. And I understand he played in, in, in Kansas City, which mm-hmm. is not no day at the beach. But you got to tell. This offense that's speedy fast, built on speed, that Mike McDaniels is building on speed, and you got to tell that offense, you're coming to uh, Western New York, and you're looking at that schedule. You want to see the Dolphins at home every December. If that game gets scheduled in September, I'm sure the Bills are like, come on now. You want that team that practices and plays in 70 degrees to come up to you you don't want to have him show up in a dome. Yeah, and by the way, I say this fully aware that Mike McDaniel is also the guy that saddled up Debo Samuel, you know, with Kyle Shanahan. Yeah. So it's not like he's, you know, he know rinky dink, all fast football that can't, that's not weatherized properly. As a matter of fact, the Niners were more weatherized for that situation as it's been discussed in Green Bay. But aren't you also giving your team, the Bills, the optimum, like giving them the best possible conditions to win a football game as well? Okay, here's the deal. Um, Here's how we're going to decide this. Um, Mike Hoskins is our uh, coordinating producer who is also at the controls. Yes. Uh, Mike, take TJ Jefferson for a second on his shot. He is a diehard Bills fan. If you agree with me that the Bills cannot play football indoors of their own accord, Switch cameras to me right now. (laughs) Radio folks, he just took my camera. He did. Bills fans don't want to play indoors. It was just just a thought. It was just a thought. Stop. Just a thought. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, as you know, I'm a Josh Allen fan and I'm trying to give him the best conditions possible. Dude, they they, they burn inanimate objects to stay warm in the parking lot. That's how they roll. That's right. Those people will jump off of vans through tables. They really don't care about They want to go indoors because they, because they're, they're going to be uncomfortable. Yeah. I forgot about Bill's Mafia. You're right. They They, don't feel uncomfortable. They want to make the others coming in feel uncomfortable. And I think Bill, hashtag Bill's Mafia agrees with me right now. You're right. And you know what? I'm not someone who won't change my opinion. I had a thought. I listened to what you said, yeah. and now I realize you're right. So, yeah. and, and how often does that happen by the guy who normally does the news? Well, I mean, <laughs> never. No, I, I'm not here to kick a man this when is, he's not here. I, I am. Yeah. I'm here for that. <laughs> and Rich, you also well done. <laughs> hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 